All right, so I'm here with the Stellar Blade demo. Uh, I downloaded this a week, two, two and a half weeks ago, whenever it came out. Um, and today, because I don't have time to stream, I'm going to be playing this at least for about an hour. Uh, so there'll probably be more than one part. I'm sure I won't beat the demo today or in one run. Uh, let's see what this game's all about. I don't even know what kind of game it is. All I know is they're making a big deal out of the chick because she's hot. So, or there's some kind of controversy, like, that's controversial. It's ridiculous. Okay. 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 So, if the game's good, obviously I'll get it. If it's not my cup of tea, I'll beat the demo, and that'll be that. Okay. Uh, let's check out the settings here. We got gameplay. Standard. Long. Off. Okay, st hints. Select whether to enable hi hints when experiencing difficulties in progressing through the game. I don't want any fucking hints, dude. You can disable hints or adjust the amount of time it takes before you receive them. Who the fuck wants a hint? <sighs> okay. Yeah, because I've never played before, I'll use the tutorials. Let's see. Show records. Immediately display or not display the contents of memory sticks and documents. Okay. Auto loot items. Automatically loots nearby items. No, I'll do that myself. Ponytail length. Adjust Eve's ponytail length. Long. Okay, controls, I'm not worried about. We'll figure those out as we go. Um, we'll turn that off, because I use headphones for gaming. Almost exclusively. Why would HDR be off by default? That's weird. Okay, let's see. Uh, adjust the overall brightness of the screen. It is recommended you adjust brightness such that the image's details are not distorted. Okay, it looks okay to me. I'll leave it as is. Graphics mode balanced. Balances resolution and frame rate. I Frame rate's cool when it's at 60. Or I've seen 120. That's awesome too, but I'd rather have fidelity. You know what I mean? So let's see. Prioritize, okay, prioritizes frame rate, not going to use that. Balance, prioritize resolution. Okay. Subtitles. Off. I don't need subtitles. Interface, show how to, okay, we'll leave all, probably all of this. Motion sickness, okay. I don't have those problems, thank God. Okay, so let's get started here. We got normal mode and story mode. Let's see, story mode. Enemies are weekend. Recommended for players who want to focus on the story. Uh, so, why don't they... See, they don't call it easy anymore, or very easy. These gamers are... Even some older ones like me, they're fucking lazy, and they make excuses not to invest themselves or immerse themselves in a video game. Features tense battles recommended for players who enjoy challenging combat. Fuck yeah. The higher the challenge, the greater the reward. If the game is done well. Alright, so let's see. Transmitting final briefing. As of now, Airborne Squad 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District 3. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nativa. Pods entering atmosphere. One minute until threshold is reached. What year does this take place in? This gonna be I have a feeling this could be like Devil May Cry or Bayonetta kind of gameplay. The That'd be okay with me. Activating shield. Oh, I can't wait for the PS6 and see this kind of stuff in 8K. Oh. And whatever HDR we have in the, in those days. Uh oh. Code red. Code red. Fuck going down, dude. Are these NHI or what? Oh, 
hostiles are being dealt with. With extreme prejudice. Jesus Christ. All available drop pods will be protected according to protocol B-32. Oh. Oh. That's pretty fucking cool. Here's Itchy. Warheads, or there's something inside of them. Maybe, uh, whatever her name is, Eve, or whatever. Is she a robot, or is she alive? That's kind of what I want to know. Lady, Jesus. I guess in that kind of situation, you want to get down as quick as possible. You don't want to be parachuting down. Become an easy target. Zero seven five three one. Pod landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. Hatch. Come on. Come on. Did I not do it? Whoa! T Tucky. They're not normal humans. Eve, are you all right? This place is dangerous. Oh my! <laughs> Take my hand. Okay, so we got some QTEs. Man, nice graphics, dude. I'm not talking about her, just nice graphics. Awesome, that's fucking cool. She looks kind of fantasy star-ish. Kind of. Oh my. <laughs> okay, follow Tacky to the rendezvous point. Ooh, I like this already. How do we lock on? That's what I, I want to know. Have your combat Great. Coordinates? The rendezvous point is at 2 o'clock. 400 meters in front of us. Oh, I see some NHIs. This is a full scale invasion, dude. Or just utter destruction. That was close. Come here. Careful of your jump. I keep wanting to press R2 to run. <laughs> oh, it's a big NHI. Who are these chicks? Are they like combat like cyborgs or something? Or androids? Watch out! It's an Tiba. I'll handle this one. Watch out! There's more! Ooh. Dude, let's go. I love it. Are you all right, Eve? My body frame. Take this. It's first aid. Body, I don't. Are they living? Or are they robots? Okay, they don't need potions yet. There's more of them. Let's fuck them up, dude. I 
push the camera when I lock on, like just like in uh, Rebirth and Remake, I wish when I locked on that the camera would automatically flip around for me. That would be nice. But other than that, it's it's smooth combat smooth. Watch out for gardeners interception. Okay, so some dead dead women here. Look out! Fuck. Fucking. Don't stop! Keep moving, Eve. More combat, please. That was close. It was close. This isn't looking good. Let's go. Boss. Is that an Alpha Nativa? Let's join them. Officer down. Oh! Fuck. Who or what are these chicks? Oh, my God. Asian chicks with English accents. <laughs> Life signs. We're the only two left. Kind of reminds me of Tron. Oh, yeah, she definitely looks like she walked out of Fantasy Star. Eve. Like the the art style. Pull yourself together. Taki. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? The only two remaining? Well, they have emotions, so maybe they are biological uh, creatures. Let's go. Where's do I use um Fucking awesome. Yes. It wasn't an alpha, but it was a strong one. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then. <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Fuck, look out, dude. Eve, are you alright? Something worse has arrived. Alpha Nativa. 
Damn. That chick looks vicious. It's like Predator. Eve. Wait, no, I see cybernetics. Get out of here. Yeah, they're cyborgs. Talkie just ate shit, dude. That was the demo, just that small piece? Oh, okay. I was like, what? This is going. I'm gonna work. I gotta fix something here. Still, make sure to stay cautious. That's where the Alpha and AT buy is. It's all right. Okay, so this is sometime later, I take it. Now, get ready. I'll be supporting with the drone. So this must be eight or seven. Yes. This was the final battlefield of civilization. Hmm. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Is this Earth? Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. This must be Earth's rain. We can say it rains on a lot of planets. We have a job to do here. Terrain data has changed recently. <laughs> Hold the options button to view. Okay. Okay, let's see. Dude, the graphics are awesome. The animations that right there is a little shaky. Like Eve's head looks like it's going <laughs> like like she's cold or afraid. Let's see. Scavenger Adam. The item that Adam asked for is in the Hall of Records. Go to the Hall of Records by following the drone controlled by Adam. Okay. Bag. Weapon core. Skill. Ooh, there's a skill tree. Good. Are those? Was that the NHIs, the N Nadi Ba, or whatever? However you say it. Okay. Falling debris. Be careful. Eve. Something is coming. The They're coming. See, now I don't like that. I. I I don't like that the camera doesn't follow my action. Like it does in Rebirth and some other games, too. Needs to be a little bit more intuitive in that regard. This is the Legion that was killed in the final war. Roar. 
Okay. There's an encrypted code in the memory stick. It's a security code. A type of entry permit. God, even the music is reminiscent of Fantasy Star, like online. Try entering the cup. I hope I don't have to. It, oh, come on, dude. Really? So now, now I have to go and memorize the fucking code. If I find it, just automatically put it in. You know what I mean? I mean, not that this is terrible, but it's just like. She found the code. Why do I have to remember it? She's got it written down on a piece of paper. It makes logical sense to have her just enter it automatically or have the, the computer enter it automatically for you. All right, now I gotta go find that thing. Planet diving suit. Let's see, changes the appearance of Eve. Children born on a starry night. A glorious mission begins. Illuminate Earth as beacons of hope. May you forge a path to the future. Okay. I don't. R O A R Roar O A. R Roar O A. Okay, hang on. R O. At least, at least the symbols or the text is legible. Like, I can associate it with something that I'm familiar with. Like, some games, you got these weird fucking, like, hieroglyphs and... Because of the city's unstable terrain. We'll get used to it soon. Okay, you can go in the water. Fast swim. Can she breathe underwater? Ooh. Ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Now that I don't I mean it's not bad, but why? Oh, I think it auto it has that automatic loot. You know what if I if I open the loot box you should just she should just get it. Uh, that I that's kind of a weird decision. I uh, yeah. So, okay, let's go up. There's nothing else here. Okay. Nothing terrible. It just well, things were like that's an odd kind of an odd decision. Keep wanting to hit circle to. There's a legion camp in a place like this. Legion, huh? Well, what's down here? I don't want to follow the robot or the drone. Camps are places where you can save your progress and get some rest. Okay. You can activate them by by obtaining VIT coins found near camps. Okay. Sit down on the chairs or at camps to recover HP and refill the rechargeable tumbler. Your stored items will be retrieved if space is available. Some, item, some enemies will be revived when resting at camp. Good. Use the vending machine at camp to purchase items. You can learn or train skills through the kiosk. Okay. So a little bit... A little bit like Rebirth, uh, Remake and Rebirth as well. I, I like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Highly concentrated potion. Twisted drink. It's charged with a concentrated recovery paste, and therefore its texture may feel thicker and harder to swallow than a regular person. Just Okay, lingering potion. 
They twist a drink. As the recovery pace starts working, you m might feel itchy, prickly, or strange. Shock grenade. Uh, makes nearby enemies collapse. Orca Aerospace Company's AN2 shock grenade is a thermal pressure explosive for melee support. It emits shock waves to scramble the interior of an organism's body. Of course, you shouldn't think about that. Uh, you can completely incapacitate monsters with these tiny bombs. Pulse grenade. Ooh. Damages the enemy's shield. Orca Aerospace Company's AN4 pulse grenade is an, an electromagnetic. It's an EPW for melee support. Electromagnetic pulses disable Nady Boss's defense capabilities. How these. How these. How were these waves discovered? Maybe Mother Sphere has the answer. Hmm. SP, SP initializer. Resets the skill tree and refunds all SP. Or when you run out of memory due to, a, due to system dump files, or when you want to reset the, a, the AEOS. The Eidos company has launched a do-it-yourself initializer to meet the diverse needs of its customers. It's easy. Just hold it towards your head and press the button. Not enough currency, fuck you. Okay, so, I have no currency. Question is, were these women built, converted, or were they, are they, like, you know what I mean? How do they become cyborgs? Are they biological robots, or are they biological humans, or sapiens, and they have those implants What's or wrong? whatever? Uh, it's nothing. On. Just for stay alert. Alert. for clickbait purposes, so people will watch my video. I should just get a shot of her booty, like up close, and <laughs> use that as my my thumbnail for my videos. Like, so far, I like this. This is pretty cool. Okay, I'm not too concerned with skill tree now. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. What do we got here? Survival. Select skills. Select perfect dodge with a D-pad or L. Dodging at the perfect moment will activate perfect dodge and allow you to avoid danger. I can't figure out how to dodge. Or I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sure I will. Okay. Okay, so we have no more SP for the skill tree. So let's go. Yeah, I'm not a dodger. I am an offensive fucking machine, dude! I think I'm gonna change that. Uh, just give me the loot. You know what I mean? I don't want to fuck around with having to collect the loot. If I, if it drops, just give it to me. Where's hard mode? Auto loot items. Yeah, that needs to be on. It's cool. I, I you know, I, it sounds like I'm complaining, and in a way, I kind of am. That hell, you gotta press the button to loot. But it's cool that they have options, so people can do it either way. I like I like the or uh, Do you think there's anything useful? option instead of the and uh, either or you know what I mean like Nintendo has that philosophy it's gonna be this way instead of giving players both options okay press up to use the currently selected potion hold up to select the desired potion okay well it's legion so compatibility shouldn't be an issue make sure to take everything Oh my car! 
All right, can we go down? No, nope, we're gonna have to go across the bridge. I don't think Eve can go down in that water. I like this. This is pretty cool. Eve, be careful. You see the rapids below. If you fall, it's over. Cool. Cool, man. I like how the, the water hits the uh, camera. Ooh. Boom! Oh, dude, that was fucking awesome! Enemies maintain their stance with balance. Balance is displayed below HP and shield gauges. Okay. So we make them fucking unbalanced. Okay. Okay. Boom. There we go. Thank you, Eve. What in the fuck are you, dude? Oh, dude. Like Metroid Prime. Hydra, let's see. Data bank. Thornhead. Thornheads, I like this when games put... They give some info on enemies and stuff like that. Intel. Thornheads are whatever they are. NHIs with thorny heads and long, fragile bodies. It is not known if they have organs for seeing or hearing, and little has been discovered about their biology. It is certain, however, that they attack in small groups. <clears throat> Check one, two. I gotta bring my mic. Is that better? That's better. Okay. Thornheads are not overly intimidating enemies. They can easily be taken down from the front. Okay. Creeper. Creepers are creep. Oh my god. You guys are creeps. Eagle heart. <laughs> uh, creepers are small but deadly uh, NHIs. They have razor sharp tails and flexible bodies that can move in unexpected ways. Creepers are not overly intimidating enemies. However, don't let them swarm you. Creeper swarms usually contain unstable uh, entities. They'll charge at you and attempt to self-destruct, so stay on your toes. Beholder, okay. Beholders are NHIs with gruesomely twisted bodies supporting a bone saw blade on one arm. Their shape makes it difficult to distinguish their characteristics. However, when they stare at you with their uh, beady piercing yellow eye, it's easy to see why some call them watchers. Combat information. Beholders attack by slashing with their bone saw blades. Stay calm and fight back against them. Okay. Cricket Slasher. Ecological information. Crickets are NHIs that look like a horrid mix of crickets and other living organisms. Their shell looks like naked bodies and they can develop hard uh, chitin arms uh, depending on their need and roll. Combat information. Cricket Slashers have two arms and one middle arm, which, is, which they swipe... Like a weapon, okay. I like that guy. Hydras are hybrid NHIs that look like aliens. I, I hope, I hope, I have my fingers crossed that these aren't just mutated Earth organisms. Like, they need to be NHIs. I mean, technically they are NHIs, but I mean, by NHIs, I mean aliens, not from Earth. Because they, they are non-human intelligences, but I want them to be true NHIs, foreign NHIs. They can also camouflage themselves. Uh, that would be a little bit, dis uh, uh, more than a little bit, but not a, it's not a game breaker or deal breaker for me. Uh, you know, oh, I'm here in a, on a futuristic Earth and everything's mutated. That's been done so many times and it's never, 
I, I don't find it that all that exciting. I prefer it to be, yeah, these are fucking alien organisms kind of thing. They can also camouflage themselves in their environments like assassins hiding in the ruins. Hydras can float and attack quickly. Uh, you need to find a weak point to hurt them. Hydras can instantly become invincible. Or invisible, excuse me. When they become invisible, it will be difficult to avoid their surprise charge attacks. Okay, elite. Brute. Uh, Natiba, I guess that's what they are. Natiba are clearly adaptable creatures. At first it was believed they were simply quick to mature or mutate. However, when their enormous brutes ripped open machine cores to attach them to their tentacles and draw energy, we realized that the Natiba's evolutionary potential was limitless. Brutes are beasts with superhuman power. Be careful of their aggressive attacks that span wide areas. When a brute is engaged, it overloads its machine core. Okay, so they're machines? That's cool, too. Overloaded cores turn bright yellow and cause ex they got the hiccups. Brutes, uh, explosive attacks come in a variety of forms, including uh, continuous explosion, shockwaves, and ground blasts. Keep your distance and act fast. Okay. Okay, so another comment on this game thus far. Um, the music is appropriate for the environment. I like that. That makes that helps. Gear is equipment that can improve Eve's combat abilities. You can equip gear and gear sockets to boost your desired combat capabilities. Cool. You can access gear sockets in the equipment tab by pressing the options button to enter the menu. You can collect omni bolts to unlock more slots and equip more gear. Awesome. Okay. Gear. Yeah. Where's the gear? Fish? We're going to be fishing? <laughs> Let's see. This item may be valuable to someone. Precision parts that have been used for micro drones, uh, automatons, and droids become useless after civilization collapsed. It wasn't possible to manufacture such precise machines again, and they were too small to extract material. However, they could be useful to someone. Useful enough to exchange them for other valuable items. Okay. So a sort of currency. Okay. Where's gear? Exospine. Or, or is, that's the thing. Is she an augmented human? Or is she a full-on fucking cyborg made in a factory? You know what I mean? Okay, here's gear. Okay. Combo attack enhancement gear. Combo attack power level 2 or higher. 14% increase. Increases attack power of combo attacks level 2 or higher. Depending on its intended use, uh, body, firmware, uh, body firmware come in different types. The range of normal operation for gear also varied for each firmware type. This meant that you couldn't just pick up a module and use it. It was the painful reality faced by the citizens of Zion who were dumped on the ground empty-handed. Okay. Oops. Okay. Eve seems to have... Uh, seems to be sentient, so... Let's see. Okay, so there are different combos here. Let me do this. This is going to be a... Ah, her thing's in a way. I want to get a good booty shot. And... <laughs> I don't care about any of this stuff. Even when I was young, I didn't... I mean, it's pleasing to look at in some respects, but I never cared even when I was young. It just didn't fucking matter to me. It's a cartoon. It, you know, It's entertainment. It's not real. I don't know what all the hoopla is about. She's a cool character with a cool design. Let's see. Press... Okay, press thumb to have the drone scan the surrounding area. Scanning locates places you can hang. Okay. Hole. Is she short circuiting? <laughs> <sighs> ok, 
Okay, I see stuff up here. Are other cities in a similar state? By comparison, this city is looking pretty good. After the colony extinction, most places were nothing but dust. Ah, that could be useful later. Yeah, I like, I, I, I love the post-apocalyptic. There's a fusion cell. Theme. Let's open the car's hood. Oh, surprise. At least the fusion cell's intact. <laughs> Advanced engine technology engine in an old-fashioned looking car. Compression battery. Next to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh, it's the previous generation of the infinity cell. Be sure to keep that. It's very valuable. He used to activate a fusion drive, okay. You know what I, I do I okay, hang on. Let me get through this. It's a trap. It's a trap. Let's go. Yes, bring it on. Fuck, dude. Wasn't uh, wasn't really paying attention that time. Okay. Let's come over here and get ready. Can I skip this? Yes. God, if the game's this easy and I'm a bad player, I'm terrible at all video games. Like, I can't imagine how easy story mode is. That's ridiculous. Gotta dodge. Heavy Guardian. Let's see. Let's check that dude out. Heavy Guardian. Where are you? He was only a warrior class, too. Let's see. While stone statues erode with time, Natiba's mimicking statues do not. Heavy guardians have killed, devoured, and constantly extended their own bodies uh, to become uncontrollable, bloodthirsty giants. Heavy guardians possess a very strong body with destructive power, or with destructive powers. Their mace-like hand can shatter the ground. Heavy guardians charge with their heavy bodies. Avoid them so you don't get crushed. Okay. We're in the clear. In the Do clear. This way. There are traces of markers left behind by the Legion. What's over here? not going anywhere where I'm supposed to go that's that's how you play a game okay got a Bitcoin cool <laughs> fuck you
May your memories be born. Forever. Number of beta cores required for max beta energy increase two. Dos mas para mi. Para Eve. See, it pays to go out of your way. You know what I was going to say before that battle out here is the controls are nice. They're they're pretty tight. Uh, but I wish oh, Eve doesn't feel heavy. She doesn't have weight like Dante has or like Bayonetta has. Um, she feels kind of floaty. Not not like I said, not a not a deal breaker or you know or anything overly bad. It's just something that's kind of off. But uh, not not terrible. Nothing nothing bad like that. Oh my God, am I allowed to do that? <laughs> I don't think so. Oops. And now I have to try to remember how the fuck to get out of here. Lead the way, Adam. Oh, come on. It's like hunting with a chocobo. You're near it. Just fucking open it. Okay, it doesn't want to open. Okay. Her dodge is weird, too. Like, when I do this, it's clunky. Like I said, not horrible, but it's clunky. It's kind of... It's going to require an adjustment, that's all. Like, I'm used to seeing a dash or a roll. She just kind of... You know what I mean? It's... I think it's under-exaggerated. Cool. Oh. Move, move, Eve. Yes, thank you. Oh. I will get better at this. <laughs> Not much, but I will get better for sure. Yeah, you better fucking eat that. Or you better use that. Okay, so that was cool. There's more combat in this than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has. Yeah, I wish she just felt heavier. I feel like she's slowly floating instead of the, like the weight of a, and especially if she's a machine, she's going to be really heavy. Much heavier than, a, than a, a human woman, or a normal human woman, I should say. Is that a climbable area there that I see? It looks like it. Yeah, okay. Cool. What's up here that we needed to climb up here for? <laughs> Damn it, the game won't let me do it. <laughs> there we go. It's a good shot for my thumbnail. Okay, so nothing there that we need. See, now when she runs, I feel that weight. Not completely, but I feel it a lot more. Music's good. Graphics are really nice. Monsters are cool, the setting or the premise is cool. Can we just fuck them up, dude?
Okay, okay, I got it. We'll save that. There's gonna be some may. may uh, uh, uh. Which way, Adam? You're, he's supposed to be leading the way, and I'm wandering around here, not knowing where the fuck I'm supposed to go. This is Russia. That's Russian or Slavic writing. Ooh. Shit! Oh, I almost fucking fell. Yeah, some of this is it's not immediately evident where, where you need to go. Which is fine. But if it becomes too much of a pain, that can detract from the from the game. We'll see. It's just a demo. So far, so far, so good. If it stays at this level of, of damn, level of quality, I'll definitely buy the game. The last words of the hopeless. Decades have passed since the appearance of the Nadibas and the evacuation of humankind to the colony. They say the airborne squad is destined to rescue the remaining humankind, but there's no sign. We can't do anymore. I can't do this anymore. Oh, dude, did he fucking kill himself? Boke or the memory stick still has the security code registered. It also has record of a message log. Scan complete. I think I could have swung on there. Better go here though. Okay, cool. You have to cross here. Do you see the ladder behind me? No. Oh. Okay. Can't reach the ladder. The water level is too low. Try using the plank. We battle for freedom. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. PSU. That game was awesome. It'll never be recognized or remembered as well uh, or as admirably as PSO, the PSO series, but PSU was awesome in its own right. It's a shame it wasn't bigger and didn't last longer, didn't get a sequel. Okay, so the water level is too low. <sighs> okay, I know that she said the water level is too low, but hang on. So Eve does not have an exaggerated jump. She just... She jumps like a normal person. Realistically. Not like Mario or Samus style jump, you know. Or even Kratos jump. It's... Just is what it is. Alright, what do we got in here that I can slash and hack and... Okay. Okay, I don't see anything. Maybe it's up there. Um, I'm not seeing a reason to be up here. 
Uh, man, am I fucking stumped already? Okay. Object. I didn't see... I'm assuming that the key to this will be to go underwater, but I, I, was, I didn't see any other path than, than that which in, went into the gate there. Or through the fence, I should say. Hmm. Hmm. I'd look around real carefully. It doesn't help that the sun's coming right in on my on my face. It's not hitting the TV, but it's hitting boom my mug, my ugly ass mug, and then and my eyes, my ojos. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything underneath here. Water shot there. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I'm kind of confused here. Uh, uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Dive! A little dark down here, but that's okay. I may have to get up and close the blinds. No, I didn't want to come out of there. Yeah, I see nothing. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm running out of options here. <laughs> Just like, like, what am I supposed to look at? What am I supposed to do? Um... The only thing I can think of is to go up here again, but there was nothing up there. I'll, I'll look again and see, but... There's some clickbaity thumbnails, huh? <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Okay, so... Come on, Eve. This is encouraging, unless this is the way I came in. No, I haven't been up here yet. Okay. Investigate. Let's do it. Lucas, look up at the sky. There's something falling. I wonder what it is. I didn't hear the orbital explosion warnings going off. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, I thought it was going to offer more information. But, yeah, if you read it right from the get-go, you're good. Okay. Where the hell are we going now, dude? Okay. Oh, it makes me nervous. Gives me anxiety. Boom, nice, nice. Okay, we got it, we got it. Okay. Activate camp. Let's see what we got here. 
Yeah, I want to attack, dude. I f fuck the defense. I want to attack. It's the aerial blow. Hits the enemy. Oops. Hits the enemy in the air and then lands. Ignores the enemy's guard. A combo attack skill. Okay. I just have one SP. Damn it. Ooh. Hold triangle and then hit triangle again. Yeah. In the air. Okay, I'll take it. I like aerial attacks. Okay. I heard um, IG in France uh, apologize to the developer of this game for the stupid comments they made regarding uh, like some incel having never seen a real woman or something like that. Like, and it turned out to be like the developer's wife was the model. like Or something like that. Like These fucking people, dude. Like I'm not a political guy at all. I'm apolitical and I, I'm anti-political. But man, there's some real deep-rooted... Uh, psychological issues there. Somebody needs some psychotherapy. It all sounds like rainy music. That's cool. Okay. Huh? Okay, hang on a second. Just a second. Important message from home. <laughs> yeah, I had an MRI done today um, on my feet, uh, both feet. I have posterior or dorsal uh, bone spurs on both my feet, and they've been there for at least 10 to 15 years. Um, I was diagnosed with them about 10 years ago because I'm almost 50. I'll be 51 in a couple of weeks. I was 41 when I got diagnosed, and... The doctor, the podiatrist I saw at that time said, um, oh, just do these stretches and physical therapy and do this before you exercise and after. And I did everything. And she said, oh, they'll, she told me they'll go away. Now, I'm not completely oblivious when it comes to medical stuff. I knew, I, but I didn't know that uh, bone spurs were calcium deposits. So they don't go away. They have to be taken off or cut off, you know, via surgery. So I um, had the MRI done today because I'm with a new podiatrist. This is actually the third podiatrist I've seen. Um, none of them have either wanted to help me or been able to help me. Uh, they basically tell you, well, they're not big enough or they're not sharp enough or they haven't done enough damage yet uh, to necessitate surgery, so I can't do anything for you. Go home and do stretches which and take Motrin, which is fucking bullshit. Like how long do how much pain do I have to be in, and why are we letting them grow, and becoming you know become more of a problem? Just get fucking get rid of them, you know I, it, whatever. But uh, yeah, I had that done today, and they tell you hey you know not my first MRI, but uh, you know because my feet hurt, it's hard to keep them still. But of course the second somebody like a little kid don't do that, don't move. You know I want to itch my feet and. You know, they, they kind of want to take on a, uh, a, a life of their own, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, let me check one more message and then I'll get back on this. Okay. Um, I 
Okay. Okay. Um, itch my ear, and we'll get back on this. Okay, so let's see. We've, we, we came up the ladder. I don't want to go back down an area. I don't need to go down. So we'll go here. The, uh, like I said, this music... Oh, that's fucking cool, dude. Oh, you can make your ponytail short so that you can see your ass. Okay. Hang on a second. I want to see this. I'm cu just curious. Interface. Okay, well... <laughs> Believe me, I'm not being a dirty old man. It just... It just fucking... It's funny to me. Okay, let me fix her ponytail. I liked it better the other way. And we will get back on it here. I don't care. I just, she looks cooler with it, but... Okay. I love that pose going down the ladder. That's pretty cool. We have to go through this building. Try putting the fusion cell you have here. And we're gonna o open this because it was locked from the other side. There we go. I have business to take care of first. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I keep hitting R1 to block. Oh no, dude! Oh! oh. Boom. Motherfucker, dude, this guy's... Don't let him pick Eve up. Come on, man. Get up. Get up, Eve. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I hit the wrong... I, I meant to heal, I'll press up, and I hit triangle for some reason. Go figure. Okay. Man, I think I gotta pee. Maybe taking a break here shortly. P break. Boom. Okay, let's see. Oh, what the fuck, dude? I took a chance on that one. Wow. Fatality. <laughs> Holy Christ. to do is hit that and I couldn't I couldn't get her to hit it oh look out dude look out Star. Oh my god, what was the fucking code? Alright, now we gotta go look at the code again. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Passcode. Like I said, this should just be automatically put in when she finds it. This. 
I hate the term quality of life improvements because generally that's newspeak or, or doublespeak for sanitize, sanitizing something, especially when it comes to video games. Quality of life, my ass. You're going to make the game easier and take the challenge out of it. But stuff like this, this is I would consider this a positive quality of life improvement if I didn't have to put in the actual code. If Eve's, if I'm lucky enough or Eve is lucky enough to find it, just get, oh, hey, it belongs on this gate, you know what I mean? And boom, it just automatically opens. You know what I mean? Okay, so Boke or... Okay. Thankfully, they're not hard to put in, like I was saying a little bit earlier. Yeah, that's better. Auto collect is just way better. Okay, R2. The network has been destroyed. A lament of despair. It's better than despair. The new network has been destroyed. I'm completely disconnected from the colony's data link. We have nowhere to fall back to. Is this the N Nativas doing? Is the colony safe? What happened to Mother's Fear? I lost track of time, even when that won't automatically correct itself. For the sake of my own sanity, I must keep track of the calendar by force editing my memory stick. Okay. I like that you get experience for that. That's cool. And go wandering off the, the, the beaten path. That's, I like that a lot. Get rewarded for that. And you should. Few games seem to understand the importance of that these days. Ah, okay, that's what that was for, the fuel cell kind of thing. Ooh, it's one of those fucking guys again. Eve is protected by a shield. Eve has damage reduction while the shield is active, and the damage reduction effect increases as the shield's protection level increases. The protection level of... Uh, Decreases after each time the shield takes a certain amount of damage. Okay. Some enemies are also protected by a shield. No shit. Enemies have damage reduction while the shield is active. Destroy the shield to stun the enemy and disrupt their skill use. No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to to use circle to get around his, the back of him. You fucking idiot. Jesus! And these guys are tough. Because they're definitely tough. <laughs> Fucking. And those guys make you earn every point of that. Whew. Mr. Foot, uh. like this used to be a library are these boxes displayed on the wall storage devices sort of they can only store up to one megabyte of data what a waste of resources hmm one megabyte that's but that was pathetic 20 years ago oh, shit that was pathetic 30 years ago ah uh, no not 30 20 25 years ago yeah for sure around the turn of the century
asshole. What's this? The crack is quite deep. It's going to be difficult to pass. <laughs> okay. We'll have to go across. That's past a good the shot. Tower. Where did he want me to go? That question mark there. Okay, so no, I came this way. We'll go this way. See what I mean? Info back this way. Where? It needs to be more consistent. If there's a something the game wants me to see or suggest I check out, then... Let's see, okay. That's good. What's this? Map. Adam, what is this? Don't you know this already? It's a map. A map? How do you synchronize the location on the map? Hopefully I got her swinging. <laughs> okay, we've been that way. We've been this way. Okay. Uh-oh. Alright, I gotta be careful. I'm low on energy, man. And healing stuff. Parking tower. Where are <laughs> One of these is gonna come alive, yeah. about to fucking gouge me. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. Not today. What do we say to death? Not today. Okay. Alright, man, I really gotta pee. I may take a break here in a second. I know I said that early, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago. This time I really mean it. <laughs> oh, gotta go around. Dude's coming right at me. Yeah, come over here, dude. I'll blow your fucking ass up. How about that? We push in the. We put the drum right there. Keep it up there. I can't tell if he's walking. Oh, he's walking away from me. Okay. Hmm. A supply camp in a place like this. Supply camp? What's that? It's a depot set up by the airborne squad who came here before. Hmm. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. How come they set up a camp in a corner like this? Well, the supply camp also serves as an important base. Is this parking lot important? It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. She looks Korean. Then I guess this place could be useful for us. Supply camps feature more devices than regular camps. You can use repair console here to enhance weapons. Ooh. Increase the rechargeable tumbler count 
and upgrade your exospines and upgrade Eve's combat abilities. You can also upgrade your drone, craft nano suits, and fast travel to other camps. Okay. Alright, let me pause here. I gotta go pee. And I'll be right back. Sorry I don't have a be right back screen set up for this. This is kind of an impromptu recording today. But I'll be right back. Ooh, coming back. <laughs> Almost ate shit. This is a bad hell. Yeah, you see what I mean? That fl kind of flicker on either the top of Eve he Eve's head. Her body isn't doing it. Her tie's doing it. And her hair is doing it. And her ponytail. That's weird. I don't know if that's by design or... Okay, let's see. Exospine. Dude, the upgrade system alone is enough for me to want to play this game. That's pretty cool. Okay, let me put that in. Check one, two, check. Okay, yeah, it's, I'm good. There you go, boys. And interested girls. Okay, so I don't really have anything there to, to change or to upgrade. Okay, let's activate the camp. Maybe that will change change things a bit. Who knows? Don't know. Use the shop. Okay. Oh. I probably have one SP. No, I have two. I change. Select Blink. What does Blink do? Can only be used when an enemy is attempting a fatal attack. Dodges and teleports behind the enemy to attack. Stuns the enemy. Charges burst energy upon landing a successful attack. So up and circle. That's going to be hard. <laughs> it's funny because with game, I, as much as I love skill trees like this, and I go, oh yeah, oh, no, I get this one, I get this one. I end up, I'm the kind of player, and I've been... I've been this kind of player since time immemorial, since I was about 12. Um, I'll use maybe three or four skills out of all the skills in this game. I'll, ch I'll become familiar with three or four and just use those extensively. Um, if the game gets really hard as, the, as it goes on or near the end, I might look in here and go, oh, okay, let me go practice with this one now. This will help with a boss or this enemy or whatever. And then I, you know, take care of the business. But I've never been one uh, the kind of player to master more than that. I mean, I love unlocking them. It's exciting to, oh, I have access to this. But I won't remember. And it's not because I'm old. I This is the case when I was young and, and, and you know, a teen, too. I'm not going to remember all the fucking combos or all the, you know, the, the, the controller inputs for every single fucking attack. Not even a quarter of them. So... And I kind of just naturally gravitate towards the ones that 
bolster my play style, I guess, for lack of a better term or phrase. Okay, press X to train your skills. Okay, so, oh, okay. So we're going to learn to use it here then. Okay. Select a skill at the kiosk to train it. You can also try out skills you haven't learned yet. If you're not used to combat, try increasing your proficiency with various skills through training. Okay, this is cool. I'll, I'll still end up using just three or four. And one or two will be my go-to, but... It just... This is a cool option to have. Let's see. Uh, okay. When an enemy glows blue and attempts a fatal attack, use blink to counter it. If the enemy is within the skill's range, Eve's sword will glow the same color. Okay, so when he turns blue. Press up and circle when Eve's sword glows to move the targets to the target's rear and counterattack. Rear. Okay. How about we just do that and fuck him up, dude? Okay, that doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. Like, okay, when I'm I'm watching him instead of Eve. Okay. Yes. Too early. Incursion. Square. 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 Triangle. Triangle. Okay. That's cool. Right on. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Now I get it. it. It'll take some practice, some time, but we'll see how often I use that. I'll probably just dodge or bl block or just go ham on the offense. I am an offensive uh, fighter or player in everything I do. Adam? Yeah? About yesterday. Thank you for saving me. Okay, the animation is decent. It's not like Mortal Kombat 1 or uh, Rebirth, but it's good. That's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. That now means we can help each other. Okay. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Okay. Listen, don't worry. I promise. I'll make sure to repay you. Ah, all right. I'm glad they'll be respawned. I can, oh, I wish it wasn't the demo because i just grind away. Go on an ass kicking spree. That's what I'd fucking do. Okay, repair console. Attack power enhancement. Attack power enhancement. Weapon core. Recharge. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, cool. That's a decent increase. Trash.
Now where the fuck do we go? Fucking tires. Alright, I'm not sure where we go. We go up. Let's go up. Why is Eve, like, sparking? Okay, let's see here. Look! That guy's fucking cool, dude! Oh my god, it looks like a it looks like a vagina with teeth. What the hell, dude? I didn't screenshot that. Adam, get back! I had to screenshot it. Okay, there's that there's that attack thing. Oh, so okay. So it can interrupt my skill. Uh oh. Got to dodge that, Eve. Woo! Oh, man, fuck me, dude. Are you kidding me? Nope, the fatal attacked me, dude. This guy got fucking hard out of nowhere. Look out, dude. Look out. Oh. Dude. Whew. I like this boss. Right. See, now when she runs, I, I mean, it's, she's, it's harder to turn or navigate. But, I, again, I like the weight. When she's walking, it's just... And there's no fucking getting around this guy. Fuck you, buddy. I want you over here. Come on. Oh, oh! <laughs> you know what OBS needs? It needs what Twitch has. I need to be able to make clips in OBS. So while I'm recording, it can make a clip okay man this dude is tough fun but tough okay. we're good we're good okay got about a half an hour left here to play this will be part one unless this boss is the end of the demo which he definitely could be Skip. Adam, get back. Gotta, I gotta nail that thing, dude.
Come over here, fuckface. Oh, dude, he dodged it. Oh, he fucking jumped over it. You sack. I don't know what to do there. That motherfucker's got a hell of a reach, dude. Oh, three hits. Oh my god, I gotta jump over that shit! No! Back up, Eve, back up. I gotta jump. Three hits, dude. Big old pussy face, dude. This dude is tough. Man, the the difficulty spike here is like on a scale of 1 to 10 it went from like a went from like a 3 to a to a fucking 8. Just boom. Adam, get back. Get back. I'm going to keep missing that. Eve takes a long time to get up. And I, I don't like the way she gets up and then stands there. It's kind of annoying. I hit the... It's real laggy when you go to heal and when you get knocked down, she'll stay there. The enemy is not doing anything. You just kind of fucking lay there. It takes two, three seconds for her before she moves. Then she gets up slowly, and you don't have control over her, and then it resumes. Like, I get it for cinematic, uh, uh, some kind of cinematic effect, but I don't like it. It's kind of awkward. When I get knocked down, I, she doesn't do anything, like, fancy to get up, you know, like a... It doesn't have to be like that, you know, like crouching tiger shit, where you, you know, do your windmill kick and you jump up or anything like that, but, like taking control away from the player makes me feel disconnected from from that part of the game it, it and then all of a sudden you're back in control like it should just be if it's going to be an action game make it continuous action even when you're down you know what i mean you can pull back to roll backwards and get up or roll out of the way or whatever but it just it's weird it's not like i said it's not terrible but it's strange i guess you could call it Hmm.
And the boss is appropriately difficult. I like it. I mean, you gotta you gotta do dodge, block, and do uh, you know, dip, dodge, duck, and dive. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Adam, Let's go. That happens so fucking fast. And I know it's a demo and it's probably... It's, I'm not sure what to do there besides block or maybe dodge backwards, roll out of the way. See, now I feel that disconnect when I get act like I'm down now. Come on. And I don't have control. Okay. So you get a second or two where you can't. Really weird. I yeah. Uh, well, the game hasn't trained me up to fight a, this, a boss like this, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do, but okay. Here's the thing. Like I said, the difficulty spike between the. The, all of the demo before this fight is really low, or the difficulty of it's really low, and then the spike between that and this boss is fucking huge, dude. Like, I haven't been trained to dodge. I mean, the enemies are so weak. I didn't need to do a lot of, you know, advanced combat techniques. It was just hammer away, maybe block, maybe move out of the way once or twice. But this guy requires you to, you know, and he's fast, so... Um, yeah, hang on a second. What is this? Message from... Uh, let's see. My 14-year-old doesn't want to do state testing. And Can you take me out? No, I can't take you. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> 14 is a good time to... So he already works. He's a hard worker, but four teams a good fourteen is a good time to learn that you're going to be doing a lot of shit you don't want to fucking do for the rest of your life. So <laughs> learn to persevere and have have some grit, you know. All right, now that fucking attack sucks, dude. Okay, now she's up. Why? I don't... When she dodges to the side, it's really weird. Like, it's almost like the disconnect I feel when she's down on the ground. Like that, I didn't. I felt like I didn't have control over that.
Ooh, three hits, three hits. Watch out, dude. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me running. <sighs> and it's also... I. I don't like it in any game when you have to push the thumbstick down to run. I prefer that to be L, like R. In a game like this, it'd be great if it was L2. Adam, get back. They did better that last time. Okay, he's, that's the second attack. I don't know what to do there. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Okay, now see. Hey, I, I'm just not fast enough. I can't. Three. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Okay. Holy shit, man. This dude is no joke. Womp. Womp. Around we go. Circle. Adam, get back. Not a good start. Not a good start. I guess I gotta go backwards on that one. This is a fucking terrible fight so far. That prick. Woo! I don't even know what to do here. Fucking. I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit, man. And I will upload this to my Patreon account, which is still a work in progress. Adam, get Make it free for members who follow me. God damn it. Abaddon.
Trying to get the timing down, man. Blow that motherfucker up. Oh, that's all it did to him? Come on. There was like eight barrels there, man. Because that's... I'm gonna die. Fuck, dude. It goes... It, the fucking thing comes right down in your path. Man, I am so grateful for difficult boss battles, but man, I wish I had been trained up on this by the game. It's like They throw these mincemeat guys in front of you for an hour or an hour and a half, and then this fucking huge pussy face comes out and fucks you up like eight times in a row out of nowhere. And you're totally unprepared, like skill-wise. <laughs> Nope, couldn't do it. I keep forgetting that he's gonna do that. Really hard to heal. Okay, come on. Nope. I know what's coming and I forget. I constantly forget. That's why I said I'm terrible at these games. There it is again. Watch sickle. Fuck me like that, dude. God damn it. I don't see myself beating this today, but we'll see. Alright. Oh, no. Wrong way, dude. Wrong way. Ass clown. Yeah, um, somebody was asking me earlier, uh, and I keep getting asked, because I, I posted on Twitter that I wasn't streaming live today. Because I had a uh, the 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 MRI for my foot thing, and that's the reason I started streaming like seriously, or I'm trying to, is because I'm gonna be down and out for two years. There it is, I did it. Fuck yeah, dude.
It's this shit. Boom! There's gotta be a way to stop that. Oh, come on. Holy fuck, man. Nope, couldn't do it. Couldn't fucking make it happen that time. I don't understand. Oh, nope. I'm too fucking slow. That's all. Oh, one, two, three. Tell you what, what Eve needs is a good butane regulator. Fuck, dude. And I'll give my opinion of the game uh, thus far at when I stop the recording or before I stop it. Man, the timing required is fucking insane. It's this fucking attack. So, three fucking attacks that time after I'm hammering it on his ass. Jesus Christ, dude. Now, if I'm a developer, or if I'm the developer of this game, and this is just my personal opinion, because I like difficult, or I don't like difficult games, I like challenging games that offer great reward for your perseverance, and, you know, and they make the, the process of playing addictive as well. But, uh, and that has uh, some of this. This has some of that. Um, I would kind of dummy the boss down a little bit for the demo. Like, Jesus Christ. I blocked. I blocked. Oops, I gotta I gotta jump backwards for that. And I'm not doing it. Wow. Fuck, man. Some runs are better than others, I guess. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Alright. Man, this boss is not fucking around, dude. I'm grateful for that. But at the same time, like I said, being a demo, I, I might have... Dropped him from a 10 to a fucking 8.
Oh, I, I was ready for it and it didn't fucking work. This, this is bullshit right here. Come on! Don't fucking blow it here! On one, on one hand, I feel myself getting better or becoming more familiar with his patterns and his, his attacks and whatnot. But at the same time, I feel like I'm doing worse. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I He's not frustrating. He's really fun to fight, but holy shit. And you know what part of it is? Is that, like I was saying earlier, with the disconnect when Eve is down, and you, the player or I lose control of her, and when she, and even after she stands up and she's back in her battle pose, you know, it's I don't have control over her. So, um, okay, I don't care. I'm getting weird notifications about people and places that I don't talk too much and haven't been to in 5,000 years, you know? And sometimes the block is on, and other times it's not. God damn it. That, that attack, that's just straight up bullshit! Fuck you, dude! And then I don't get time to heal! There it is again. I keep fucking missing it, dude. my god okay so that is going to be the end of part one of this demo i will play it again on another day where i'm unable to stream um for those of you for those of you who don't stream on a serious basis to try to make it into something more than just playing games there's a lot of setup that goes into streaming even when you're uh, an absolute fucking shit stain on the bottom of a shoe like me um there's a bunch of shit to set up before you ever go live. Um, I mean, I've got my PC and stuff and everything else set up and ready to go. 
but there's just a lot of other things you've got to do. Um, I don't always have the time to stream. Most days of the week I do, but when I don't, um, I can record stuff like this. Um, based on what I've played today, um, I would definitely recommend this game to my friends and family. Um, my 14-year-old will probably dig this game. Um, he likes action stuff. He likes God of War and um, other action-based series. So, um, yeah, I I would give it out of 10. I would give it a seven and a half. Um, graphics are awesome. Animation is okay. Um, there's kind of that uncanny valley or awkwardness when you know the, during cutscenes. Um, I know the studio is in a giant studio, so I you know I I am not punishing them for that. It's it's the game's well put together, or the demo is at least. Um, the music is spot on. I think it matches the environment and in the kind of the the tone of the game thus far. Um, I the premise of the game is awesome. Um, I really like that. Um, the upgrade system I really like. I think that's there's a lot of potential there, and that could be a lot of fun to you know to grind out the you know grind out your skill tree if you want. If you're a player like me, like I'll if I if and when I buy this game, and I probably will. Um, based on what I played here today, um, I'll definitely be, I'll, I'll be, I'm a grinder, um, in RPGs or in any game, especially in RPGs, but in any game where there's, you know, you have the ability to go and reset enemies by saving or whatever, leaving the area and coming back, whatever it is, and then coming and taking them out again. Um, I love that. I love that kind of gameplay. So, um, yeah, I definitely play it again. Uh, there'll be a part two to this. I will beat this boss at some point. Um, but it won't be today. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't, uh, please like and subscribe on my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, on my Patreon. Um, it's all under the Gaming Curmudgeon. Um, and on Twitter, I'm, all, I'm also under Surly Gamer. So there you go. All right, thanks, guys. See you next time.